John and Sally are sitting on the opposite sides of a seesaw, both of them 5 meters distant from the fulcrum. Sally has a mass of 45 kilograms. What is the gravitational force on John if the seesaw is not moving? Use g equals 10 meters per second squared. So here's our sum of the torques equation. And since nobody's moving, the sum of the torques has to equal zero. The magnitude of the torque is r f sine theta. And in this case, what we have is two sides of a fulcrum. Okay, so we have Sal, let's put, let's see, what are we doing here? Sally is going to make it go, we're going to put Sally over here. And we're going to have John over here. And what we have, Sally's mass will try and rotate the seesaw this way. So that's going to be a positive torque. John's will be a negative torque because he's trying to rotate it the other way. So the sum of the torques has to equal zero because they're balanced out. We then have, here's the mass of Sally. We don't know the mass of John, but we were trying to find the force on him, which is the gravitational force. So we don't have mg here, we just have f. We solve for the force on John by dividing both sides by rb, put the numbers in, and we come up with an answer of 450 newtons. A quicker way to do this is to use some physics intuition. They're both equidistant from the fulcrum. So since they're balanced, whatever mass Sally has, John has to have, so the, so the lever here doesn't move. So that means John would also have to be 45 kilograms. So you could have done this without the math, just by doing some careful reasoning. So 450 newtons, just to make it official, the answer is A.